Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 16 beta 5 on my iPhone 10R so as you can see this is an iPhone 10R and yesterday night I have received iOS 16 beta 5 on my iPhone 10R I've been testing out the iOS 16 for a long time on this iPhone 10R and although from the screenshot you can see that it only says iOS 16 but in the website it is obviously iOS 16 beta 5 so also from the screenshot, as you can see, this update came in about 1.21 gigabytes on my iPhone XR and in general, this update would come in a large size. So it would be between 1 to 1.5 gigabytes on all the devices that you might be using the developers or the public beta profile. So let's talk about what's new in this iOS 16 beta 5. Make sure you watch this video till the end. And also if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section so as you can see uh, ios version is ios 16 and the new build number is 20a5339d now i had taken a screenshot let me share that with you before updating as you can see the build number was 20A5328H and also there's a new modem firmware uh, with this iOS 16 beta 5 update. So as you can see the new modem firmware for my iPhone 10R is 5.00.01. Now before updating as you can see it was 4.50.03. Now after updating it has been updated to 5.00.01. Now if you're using beta software and having network connectivity issues then definitely you should update to iOS 16 beta 5 this would give you a better connectivity in terms of you know iOS updates so definitely install iOS 16 beta 5 if you're already on iOS 16 beta 4 now let's talk about what's new with this update so the first thing that I noticed if you come to the general and click on the software updates and click on this automatic updates the way this uh, three lines are separated so it is different from iOS 16 beta 4 it was pretty congested in a way that it used to show but now it has more space in between the lines that are download iOS updates I install iOS updates and security responses and system files so the representation or the graphical representation is little different so the biggest feature that I was able to see on my iPhone 12 iOS 16 beta 5 update and which is not present in iOS 16 beta 5 update for iPhone 10R is the battery percentage option. So if I go to the battery, there's a separate battery percentage option is present for iPhone 12. And even if you're using iPhone 13, 13 Pro, that will be there. But Apple, for some weird reason, they have decided not to give this battery percentage feature on iPhone 10 or iPhone 11, iPhone 12 mini and 13. Although I'm pretty much hopeful that this feature would come in near future, uh, wherein you would be able to see the battery percentage from the battery uh, icon only. So there would be a separate tab here. If you want, you can enable the battery percentage and after enabling that, you would be able to see it's sort of the battery percentage. So that feature is unfortunately missing on iPhone XR at the moment. So the next thing I wanna talk about, if you go to the accessibility, and this is not a new feature, but the icon has been changed. You can see that control nearby devices, there's one option. For that the icon is changed so previously the control nearby devices had different icon so that icon has been changed now so one new thing that i was able to notice as you can see in the background i have connected my airpods pro and the reason behind that is there's a new thing in the airpods pro menu so if i click on the airpods pro menu that you are able to see the separate case and the uh, the pods itself now if you go down as you can see if I still go down and there's this version option so previously it used to only show you the airpods version now if you tap you have a separate menu for the version and for the case itself so this separate uh, option or the separate system menu settings was not there so now with iOS 16 beta 5 you have the option to tap on the version wherein it would show you the version number and the case version as well so this was missing so one more thing i was able to notice now if you you know press your 
power button and the volume down button for a couple of seconds it would kind of give you this emergency SOS so this warding change so previously it used to say that emergency SOS now instead of emergency SOS it says that emergency call so this just a little warding change that we have got with iOS 16 beta 5 now the one more thing I am noticing if I go to the settings or maybe anywhere if I take a screenshot like this and then if I uh, tap to tap here to copy something if I click on copy and click on done now you have the option to copy and delete which was earlier not there so which earlier was like a delete option but this is a nice addition and very helpful one so if you want to copy something then you can just copy it from the screenshot itself and after copying it from the screenshot you can delete the screenshot on the go so that feature is little handy and is there with now iOS 16 beta 5 and there are a couple of other changes with Apple Music. I personally don't use Apple Music. So there are like little animation changes and all with the lock screen when the music is playing. So sort of those are present also with iOS 16 beta 5. Now apart from that there are some coding changes here and there as well within the operating system but these are some of the features that I was able to notice. Now if I uh, go to the settings I know many people are worried about the battery life so you know as I said in the beginning of the video the battery percentage feature is missing but if I take a look at the battery health the battery health for me hasn't dropped uh, the mostly the reason because this is not my primary iPhone and I don't use it as much as I do use my primary iPhone so the battery health is 89% so after updating to iOS 16.5 the battery is still uh, 89% and as you can see the graph so after a few days probably I will try to make a separate battery and performance follow-up review for iOS 16 beta 5 I'll try to use iPhone 10R with iOS 16 beta 5 as much as possible and would like to uh, give you a good review of iOS 16 beta 5 whether you should update from beta 4 or if you're on iOS 15.6 if you're planning to upgrade to iOS 16 whether you should do that or not so with the help of this video, I just wanted to let you know that we have received iOS 16 beta 5 update. So if you are on iOS 16 public beta profile, then you should be receiving iOS 16 public beta 3. And rather, if you are on iOS 16 developers beta, then you would be receiving iOS 16 beta 5 update. So then again, that's it for this video. I have not included the performance sector because the performance have just updated this device. So it would not be a good option to talk about the performance. Performance in general feels smooth as of now. But in the follow up review, I'll talk more about the performance and also show you the Geekbench 5 score as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and also if you are still not subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. That gives me motivation to make more such kind of videos for you guys. Now with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.